What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Hiroham, aka 8 Squared, and I'm here today with Grims and Phoenix Blaze. How are we doing today? Fantastic. Doing well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm ready to get right into the topic today because it's a very fun topic and a good one. Uh, I know all of us are interested, and so are you if you're watching this. Uh, so you already know what it is if you've seen the title. Kingdom Hearts will be coming to Steam, and that is going to be on June 13th. So uh, very interesting um, how that came into play, but uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But first, I want to tell you guys the games that are going to be joining uh, them on Steam. That is going to be Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. Uh, we are going to have Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue and Kingdom Hearts 3 plus Remind DLC. So we are getting a lot of Kingdom Hearts games there. Uh, in between those games, uh, do you guys think you'll be playing them on Steam? I know we've played these games in the past. Will we be revisiting them? Or what are we thinking here? I definitely, once I get my uh, computer set up, uh, I am very like, all right, I just need to press that that download button and, well, purchase button. But yes, I I love Kingdom Hearts. It's such a cool game series. Likewise. I feel like I've bought a copy of 1.8 on PS3 and PS4 and every other platform that it's been on. So I might as well just buy it on Steam as well. And yeah, not why not? <laughs> why not, man? I'm pretty sure they support it. And Square Enix could definitely use your support. Uh, very interesting that they are making this move, but we have seen they have been in some financial troubles through the year. Uh, I know that they've lost a recorded, uh, I think it was almost $2 billion ever since Final Fantasy 16 came out and uh, through the year, I think. Uh, and that was not, not $2 billion in loss, but I think their worth went down $2 billion. Uh, but then also, I think they've lost through the year, uh, ending in March 2024. I believe it was like somewhere over 140 mil. Uh, so uh, what did that mean for us? That means we get to play it on Steam. For those that have always played it on, you know, PlayStation or Xbox, uh, now you get the opportunity to play it as well. Uh, so real quick, uh, for those of you that are new to the series, uh, I want to bring up something real quick. It is convoluted. Uh, there is a lot that's going on, and this bit of information I'm going to give you guys, without giving away any spoilers, come back here and thank me later. Um, so your hearts in this game, um, they're not technically hearts, they're, um, they're souls, I, I think. Uh, but anyways, with those hearts, if you lose your heart, that heart becomes a heartless, and your body that doesn't have a heart becomes a nobody. Um, not sure why they gave it that name. Uh, and if you get your heart back and you have a heart and a body, then you are a somebody, uh, mm. again, other than being a nobody. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you guys will thank me for that information later. If you are new to the series, because that is going to be referenced so much. And without giving away any spoilers, you're going to see a little conflict with that, but nonetheless, uh, that is what I'm here for. Just to kind of give you guys something, uh, so Grams and Phoenix Blades, what do you guys think? Any any tips you want to give to uh, some of the newer players here? Mm. Uh, well, don't be a cheater. You know, <laughs> explore the big Ex the big thing that I like when I've been playing the games is to explore the the worlds. You know, just to truly like get a handle of how the game is, and because like. Each one is different in its own little way, you know? So you want to be like, oh, okay, well, what can I do in order to whatever? I'm also a scavenger. Like, when it comes to any sort of gameplay, I love searching and finding and collecting as a little, like, hobbit. So, yeah, that's my two cents. That's very, very good two cents there. We appreciate it. Don't cheat. Travel. Go through everything. You will be rewarded for that. Uh, by me somehow i don't know if i see you cheating i will call you out for it <laughs> i will find you he, he will be able to tell if you're uh while you're playing the stream or like on steam that oh this person's playing let me just see exactly what they're doing because he has awesome technology skills mm. mm -hmm. i'll figure it out <laughs> all right grims any tips to the new players here if you do like play through like the entire story, um, I wouldn't feel bad if you're not entirely sure 
what's happening. Uh, I would say if you played through the game once, it probably, or even the series once, it'd probably be worth going. Like, there's a ton of YouTube videos that will do deep dives on the entire story, and they're very long videos. Like, you'll see them be like several hours long, and I would think it's almost worth just watching those, just to, you know, confirm what you just kind of went through because the story is very hard to follow i wouldn't classify that as cheating either by the way yeah once you beat it once it's okay worse i want you guys to listen to what grim just said if you play this game if you play this game and you're confused you get to the very end you played through all the games you still don't know what's going on i I promise you you're not alone this game is so confusing sometimes. I love it, but I get it. Like it is, it is a game that you may have to play through twice, maybe three times to finally understand. And if you still don't get it, there are videos out there that can explain it. And even some of those are questionable because someone says one thing, the other says the other. Uh, again, very convoluted game, but also one of the greatest games of all time. Uh, I can't wait to play them again. So. Very, very good suggestions from uh, both of you guys there. And uh, let's move on. So I'm going to start with you, Phoenix Blaze. What is, is your favorite Kingdom Hearts game? I'm going to go with the first one. I love the original just because I've gotten to play that the majority of the time. Like, I've gotten to dabble with the other ones. But, like, that one just, you know, it took the cake for me. Because I'm just like, oh, it's like, well, oh, this is a little bit. And it started off. And, you know, so the first one. Okay, for sure. The first one is a classic. Grimm's, what about you? Favorite Kingdom Hearts game? Uh, I do like one a lot. Chain of Memories might be... My favorite one, just because for like the longest time, there was a huge break between one and two, and we got Chain of Memories as kind of like a nice in between. And I felt like at the time, two really disappointed me, but I felt like Chain of Memories really set up two to be a really good game. I thought Chain of Memories, besides gameplay, was a really good story, and uh, I think that one's my favorite. We use this game media LU. Speaking of setting up Kingdom Hearts 2 to be a great game, that was my favorite game in the series. Uh, 358 over two days, very close because I do like how uh, Axel, Zion, and Roxas kind of formed this bond. And I love that connection. And it was my second favorite, but uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 is probably going to take the cake there uh, just because of the gameplay. And it is the game I remember the most, but also the ending to that game of all the Kingdom Hearts series. Not going to give away any spoilers, but uh, definitely my favorite. You can hear the Sanctuary song towards the end uh, Mm -hmm. that just makes you feel, wow, you just accomplished something really good. And I'm always for a good ending. So uh, Utada singing Sanctuary at the end, very good. Um, But also Kingdom Hearts 3 with their opening with Let Me Face My Fears, uh, also by the same artist. If you guys can't tell already, I'm very big on music and video games. Uh, oh, 100%. Yeah, it, it it makes the video game even better, in my opinion. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is going to take the cake for me. Uh, I like the way it ended. Uh, very wholesome. And uh, I hope you guys get to see that. All right, so for the next one, we are going to go over our favorite character. And I will start again with you, Phoenix Blaze, who is your favorite character in the series. So uh, it's funny that you talk about Axel and like the bonds and stuff, because he is my favorite character. Uh, not, well, just his personality. And so he's spunky, you know, like me. And so like when it comes to as silly as this sounds, not to us nerds, but uh, I can cosplay him pretty easily, I feel, you know, so that's uh, that's got a, another win for me. All right. Excellent. Axel is one of my favorite characters for sure. Probably second or third. Why do I get the icky jobs? Love that guy. Uh, Grims, you're up, man. Who's your favorite Kingdom Hearts character? To kind of echo what she said, uh, Axel's probably my favorite as well. Yes. Maybe, maybe uh, Proxus, but Axel for sure. He definitely has to cosplay. Definitely. I would be, I'd be down for that. You guys can do the double Axel cosplay. I'm mm-hmm. all for it. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the people that are watching this would love to see that as well. <laughs> I'm going to go with Aqua as my favorite character. 
Uh, she has gone through so much in the game to get to where she's at. An amazing character, an amazing story. If you don't know the story, if you decide that you want to play through it, it's amazing. Um, but if you don't want to and you just want to see her story, I'm pretty sure there's somewhere you could look that up. But Aqua, definitely my favorite character. I think she's the strongest. I think like physically and mentally for everything she's she's had to go through, which you guys will see uh, when you play the games. Um, easily my favorite character. Uh, and then maybe Axel and Sora somewhere between two and three, but I got to give it to Aqua for sure. All right, and then the next one here is going to be who was your favorite boss fight? Grimms, talk to me. I don't know. I remember there were so many boss fights in one that I got stuck on. Um, but, like, iconic fights that, like, really just stick out to me, I guess, is when you fight uh, Riku at Hollow Bastion in, in one. I think that's a really... Really cool uh, fight that you get to go through. Definitely one of my favorite fights for sure. If I had to pick a favorite fight, it's probably going to be the Aqua fight uh, that happens in Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, Anything to do with that being your favorite character? It has something to do with it, yes. Uh, but how that fight happens and how we get to that point, I won't let you guys know. I want you guys to be able to play it and feel the same emotions that I had. Mm. Uh, but yes, uh, that is my favorite. Other than that, uh, maybe Sephiroth and Kingdom Hearts 1, which was very difficult, uh, but we did prevail. Uh, the magic of the key yes. <laughs> Shout out to my big bro. Big sis, forgive me this by the way. Uh, dope Kingdom Hearts Keyblade, I love it. Um, but, anyways, uh, yeah, so Aqua is my favorite boss fight, favorite character. As you guys see the theme here, Aqua is probably one of my favorite video game characters of all time. Um, yeah, so I'm a little biased when it comes towards that. All right, so just a few more things here. Uh, we want to talk about our favorite stage. I will start. I like Traverse Town. Um, there's so many. There's Halloween Town. There's Pride. Um, but something about Traverse Town and the music, um, it's probably my favorite. And it's a reoccurring uh, stage that you will see pretty often if you play Kingdom Hearts. Uh, so what about you? What do you guys think? Favorite stage? This guy's all smashed up, huh? Mm. <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't know. Favorite level stage? Alabastian <laughs> is really cool. I really like Traverse Town, too. That's tough. I might say, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just stick with Traverse Town, too. The music is super iconic. It does take me back. Like, the second I hear, like, just the, the, the loading screen music, it just brings me back to my childhood each time. So I'll yeah, be my yeah. favorite, too. I can't give an answer on this, and the only reason I can't is because I just want to play the games again, because, like, I want that refresher. So, you know, no Got spoilers it. here. No spoilers <laughs> over on that side, and I'm doing my best to not give any spoilers on this side, and I think so far we're doing pretty good there. Uh, speaking of being smashed out, Hollow Bastion is a stage in Smash, and it's funny that that was also brought up on here. Uh, we need to get smashed out of our heads. <laughs> but that's very hard to do because that is part of who we are, and that's how we got started with HFIL. So uh, got to keep that going. Uh, so now just a few more questions and uh, final thoughts. And, you know, yeah, we'll get you guys squared up. Uh, so just a fun fact. Obviously, you guys know already, hopefully. But if not, there are a lot of Disney characters and there are a lot of Final Fantasy characters in this game. So many characters to choose from. It don't have to be in this game. I will start off with Phoenix Blaze. Who is your favorite Disney character? I love Elsa. I like the fact that she has ice powers. And okay, I'm, I'm going to be a spoiler when it comes to movies in case anybody hasn't seen it. But the uh, um, in the uh, Frozen 2, it's based off of like the elements and stuff. So they incorporate, you know, fire, water, earth, air, and like how it all ties in with like her and finding her ice powers and like I was just like oh yep nope she's got my heart and she can she's so cool <laughs> so 
If you haven't seen Frozen or Frozen 2, you live under a rock. So you're probably not watching this video anyways. Yeah. That's crazy. Watch it if you haven't seen it yet. And, or on. watch it again, you know, after seeing this video because it's so cool. Or just listen to the soundtrack at the very least. Very good mm-hmm. soundtrack for one okay. and two. Yes. 10 out of 10. Yeah. All right, Grimms. Favorite Disney character? Probably uh, Hades. Ooh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Hades. He's always been so funny. And I don't know. I think as a kid, that was probably my most. I don't know if it was my favorite Disney movie of all time, but it was probably my most watched. And his uh, the way he's animated is just so cool. All right. Perfect. Uh, Hercules was probably one of my favorite childhood memories as well. My favorite Disney character is going to be Simba. Um, it was a tough call between Simba and Aladdin, but I got to go with Simba, uh, the king of Pride Rock. And this is a lion that for a little while uh, lost his father and forgot who he was, but was reminded of who he was and took back what was his. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to Simba uh, being my favorite Disney character. Uh, not by a landslide, because, again, it was very close between him and Aladdin, but I got to give it to the homie Simba. All right, and then uh, now we've gone over our Disney characters. Let's talk about Final Fantasy. Who are your favorite Final Fantasy players in the games? I will start off again with you, Phoenix Blaze. Who is your favorite Final Fantasy character? I love Tifa, especially when playing Final Fantasy Remake. You actually got to, like, interact with her more. Oh, she's got so much spunk. Dilly-dallying and, you know, it's just... I actually, fun fact, guys, is uh, when I was in middle school, I cosplayed as her because it was super easy to make up the costume. And I actually had people who were like, hey, can I take a picture with you? You're Tifa. And I was like, sure. Because, <laughs> you know, middle school anxiety that turned into adulthood anxiety. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yes, Tifa. I also love Cloud for, uh, I mean, like, they're just so cool. But yes. You got it. Tifa, very strong with the fist. Uh, she has a lot of something. Uh, <laughs> all right, Grims, what about you? Favorite Final Fantasy character? Uh, I'm going to be honest, I never really played the games. Uh, so my only experience or exposure to Final Fantasy characters is through Kingdom Hearts, uh, Dissidia, the movie. <laughs> Might have to go with Cloud just because, you know, he's he's obviously very angsty and cool. But yeah, I don't really, I mean... Orin was also pretty cool. Uh, he has a dope sword, cool glasses, but I can't really give like an answer based off of like what their story was, just purely okay. aesthetics. Okay, that's very fair. Uh, my favorite is probably also going to be Cloud. I'm nobody's puppet, uh, which is what Cloud was being called uh, throughout the game uh, by. Sephiroth, who's also one of my favorite characters as well. But yes. if I don't go Cloud, I'll probably go Tidus from Final Fantasy X. Yes! But I yep, have yep. to give it to Cloud. Uh, very iconic. That was the first Final Fantasy game I ever got to play. And mm-hmm. the experience that I had going through all three of those discs was phenomenal. Um, I wish I could relive that. Just opening that up and playing that for the first time mm-hmm. was Mind blowing and the story great. And they couldn't even talk, but now you can talk and remake. Now you got a rebirth that I need to play through uh, very soon. I need to play through rebirth as well. I've been itching so bad because, like, oh, I've heard such great things not spoilers, but such great things. That is the theme here. We have given no spoilers up to this point, so we are doing very good. But now for our closing remarks. Let's hope we can keep that streak going with no spoilers. Grims, any closing remarks? Um, if you are going to go play through uh, this, the, the series for the first time ever, uh, if you do get to Kingdom Hearts 3, there is uh, an element to the story that you need to kind of, kind of research ahead of time. I think on Kingdom Hearts 3, there is a part on the disc where you can kind of see like previous... Um, 
I guess, kind of get like a synopsis of other previous games. Uh, essentially, you just want to kind of get a gist of what's going on in the phone game because that does play a huge role in Kingdom Hearts 3. So if you've never played the phone game, uh, you will be a little confused uh, playing through. So that's the only thing I can say. It's not much of a spoiler, but it is something to be wary of. Very useful. All right, Phoenix Blaze, any, uh, any last oh. remarks here? I don't really have too much to say. I mean, like, I know I'm personally excited to be able to get the opportunity to, you know, play the ones that I have played, but I haven't played all of the Kingdom Hearts. So I'm also a little bit in the dark with some of this. So I'm just like, hmm, hmm. you know, very itch- itching to, you know, be a nerd. All right. I have just one closing remark here. Uh, never get high off your own supply. That was said by a great poet. That is going to do it for us today. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you liked it, please hit subscribe. So we will be letting you guys see when we have more videos in the future and we are pumping them out. So more will be on the way. HFIL out.